Welcome to the future! Chainsaw. Last time I saw you, you were delivering butter and concrete. Yeah. Ugh. I tried doubling my profits by mixing butter and concrete together. Big mistake. Vicky narked. I got fired. That's what brought me here. Reading tarot cards and crystal balls. Every little boy's dream. So you're faking it? No, I can totally see the future. Why is your crystal ball black? Black magic. Ever heard of it? I heard you kiss Vicky. Who told you? I mean, I did not. I did not. Let me take a look in here. Huh. This looks like your ferret's about to die. And I'd probably stand up because... Yeah, your chair's about to break. This is saying that Vicky's about to break up with you. This is weird. Yeah, it's saying that your upstairs neighbor is about to crack his bathtub. Stinky Peter, Big Mo! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I see, oh, I see good news. Well, that's awesome. It looks like you are about to get three superpowers. What? The first one is you can see through clothes. What? That's crazy. Wait, wait. Only shoes. Oh, and gloves. All right. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. The second superpower is now you can read twice as fast. I can't even read! Well, that one won't help you much either. But the third one, you can fly! Are you serious? Hold up. Yeah, it looks like you can only fly 12 inches above the ground. Weird! And only for one second. What? And only when you're naked. attention to how to win massive prizes of $30,000. This episode is sponsored by Lords Mobile. Stay tuned and I'll let you know how you can win. Let me choose some heroes for my battle. This guy's super epic. Giant sword, very strong. What up, shorty? Look at those kicks, though. And she's got the harp, but you know she knows how to use it. Lords Mobile is the best strategy game and a perfect game to kill time anytime, anywhere. When you're waiting in line, the bathroom, or when you feel like gaming, battling, you can enjoy smashing massive armies with a simple tap. To take advantage, you can capture other players, ask for money, and even execute other players if they don't pay the ransom. The game has hundreds of millions of global players. It has brutal fights that you can even play with this guy and his gun. There's a guild supporting you for every war you participate in. They can keep you company by monster hunting, battling, conquering the kingdom, and even farming. For the $30,000 cash giveaway, there are two ways to win. Click the link in the description below, and three lucky players will be randomly picked from the top five might rank category and can win $1,000 cash each. You can increase your might by building your kingdom, leveling up, etc. You can also spin the lucky wheel to win another $27,000 cash in total and other awesome prizes every time you upgrade your castle. All the players who download using my link in the description will get $350 Lords Mobile gift packs. Thanks to Lords Mobile for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Link in the description below. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Today, we are shooting this. This is a super hard thing to film. It's a solid ball, polished ball of obsidian. It's really expensive. We paid like $1,300 to shoot this thing. And we are going to destroy it. So we did a video kind of similar to this a while back with solid, clear glass. And it's like just focusing on me. Hey guys, and you can't see all the detail. This thing is really neat, kind of looks like a solar system there. So we did solid glass, and then we found these balls for sale online and thought, well I wonder if that's gonna act just like the glass did, or if it's gonna be harder, more fragile, I don't know, but you can see it has all these layers. It's just a, it's just a mined rock, but someone polished it into this perfect, 12 inch wide polished 
ball. After this video, come into Bunker Branding and we'll have pieces of it there because you can't even appreciate how pretty this is on this camera. It's focusing on me. I am beautiful. I agree, but it's just, it's really cool. Just, just take a word for it. So we have it right here, all set up. We're gonna back up and shoot it with a variety of calibers. I was surprised with the glass. We had solid glass balls and I thought it would just shatter with one shot. We actually bought several of them because we thought they'd be super fragile and they were super tough. I think this rock might be tougher, but I've never actually messed with obsidian before, so I'm not sure. We're gonna do it. Also, in that intro, I forgot and left my shoes on, so I'm wearing the big Velcro shoes that we bought for, uh, yeah, for the video a while back. I look amazing. First step, 44, I'm just kidding, it's a 22, like always. 22 long rifle, going at the ball of obsidian. Definitely felt pieces of obsidian come back and hit me, very lightly, but we'll probably be scooting back for the bigger calibers. Very similar to the glass, so you can see where we hit on that 22, and it just kind of shaved off. I mean, that actually looks really similar to the glass. Okay. We're gonna back up a little bit, shoot it with a little bit bigger caliber, and see what it looks like. Nine millimeter out of the Bull Armory race gun. Nine millimeter should not hurt it bad, but should do a little more than the 22. Here, and then just like the glass is shaving layers off. So I was wondering if this would look more like rock or glass when we got in there, but it's definitely like glass. This is exactly what that glass did as it worked its way back. Crazy. So a little tiny little hit there and then started rippling. Now the glass, it somehow broke on the opposite side. It started making little holes. We have nothing here yet. For those who haven't seen the glass video, you need to go watch it because it was really weird. We would hit it on this side and it would fracture the glass right here and then nothing through the middle, no cracks, and then there'd be another fracture right here. It was like it sent little waves all the way around here. They combined and cracked the glass. So I'm interested with the bigger rounds if we'll see similar things with this. Only time will tell, we don't have it yet. Same size as a nine, but going way faster. That's a 357 Magnum out of this eight inch barreled Python. It should have more damage than the nine. Jeez, weird. So obviously it hit right here, but it did less damage right where it hit than it did all around it. So right there where it hit, it's about still the same level it was where it was. It's all powdered, of course, falling out. Wait, that was bullet. That's a little piece of the bullet there. Yep. It's like bullet mixed with stone there. And then it just sheared all of this obsidian off there. Now the real question, anything going on on the back? Yes. That I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, but I'm 99% sure that was not there before. I don't know, we'll see the bigger calibers if we see something bigger coming on the backside. Dude, that totally is it. Look at this. Hit right there, straight through, where that would propagate to is right here, where that is. That is totally from our 357 Magnum hitting. Some kind of magic physics comes around in here and cracks the back end. Let's shoot a bigger round. Dude, it's sharp. We found one of the pieces that got sheared off. Obviously, like, super sharp. Right there. Okay, we're gonna spin this so we have a fresh side to shoot at. Ugh. And shoot it with something big, small, small, no, bigger. So this is about the same size height-wise as a 257 mag, but this is a 45 long Colt. So I think last one we shot a 44 mag and it was really interesting. I wanna see something going super fast with a big heavy bullet like that if it cracks that backside. Not sure I'll be able to hit it from here, but I'm gonna give it a go. I hit it and it ricocheted into the tree and knocked branches down. So that is why it went into the tree. It hit a little bit high and went up. I don't know that I will be able to shoot that thing very much more accurately because it's a short barrel and not an easy gun to shoot accurately. So I'm gonna move on to another caliber, bigger and faster and see if we can make damage on the backside. This is just a regular old buckshot load, 
Plain Jane, nothing fancy. I was just kidding, it was Dragon's Breath. This is a 12 gauge, one ounce slug. I'm gonna try to put accurately into that thing. Oh, dude. That hit it so hard. If there's not a crack on the back of that, nothing's gonna crack the back of that. <laughs> All right, so that's actually some pretty weird physics, right? Like it's hitting here. Obviously we hit right here, but it shears all of this stuff big time back here. That's loose. Crazy. Like why would it not knock that chunk out? I don't know, makes no sense to me. All you physics experts who can explain why this stays intact but everything around it gets destroyed. I don't see anything here. That's a bummer. I was really hoping, oh no, it's sharp. Listen, it's cracking all back here, but not here. So that's similar to the glass. You can see it's nice and smooth around here, but you get back here to the back, it's all cracking. It's trying to come through there. Okay, let's shoot it with something faster. I'm gonna turn it to, I mean, this is doing really good. I didn't know how good this thing would, ow. Oh, that stuff's sharp tiny little piece of obsidian glass in me. I'll be back in a minute, I gotta do surgery. Fastest round that we've fired so far, this is a 5.56 out of the Mini 14. Very tiny bullet, especially compared to like a 12 gauge slug, but going super, super fast. And we spun the target around so we have a fresh side on it. I just want the back to crack, that's all I want. All right, nothing back here happened big enough that we can really tell. Um, because we already had some damage back here, but this is pretty wild. All these chunks look like they're about to fall out. Yeah, totally. I could pry all those out. Dude, that's a big old chunk. All right, I kind of don't want to mess it up too bad though, because I want to hit it with something bigger. Crazy. Okay, that's where we hit. And the 5.56 did go deeper than all the others. It's going so fast, it makes sense. But still just ends up getting liquefied and turns to powder just like everything else because this stuff's so hard. I just want, I want to dig it, but we only have this one block of obsidian. Man, this stuff's crazy looking. Look at all the different colors. You guys probably can't see it. It's mostly black, but there's depth to it. You can kind of see through it. It's not just like opaque black you can see in it, but I don't think you can on video. All right, we are going to turn this to another fresh side and shoot it with a 308 now. All right, I walked back to over there and then I totally changed my mind. I think we need to go ahead and go straight to 50 because this thing is getting pretty chewed up and I'm worried a 308 will break it in half and I really wanna see what a 50 cal will do. Let me, there you go. Dude, that's what I've been seeing the whole time, but the light hasn't been good enough for you guys to see. That is not from being shot. That is what obsidian looks like, like that depth. When you back up, it's a black ball. When you get up close and when the light hits it right, you can see these like crazy, wispy, like cloud looking colors in there. Really cool. So we have a fresh edge here and on the backside we have a fresh edge. So I turned it in a way that we have a clean edge there and there. I'm gonna shoot it with a 50 BMG black tip and either I want the whole thing to explode or I want the front to explode and then the back to break. That's my goal and you can see you actually really can't. We have some little spider cracks kind of coming through a little bit. This thing is getting ready to go, which is why I didn't want to shoot it with the 308, because I didn't want to ruin the 50 cal shot. God, looks like you're looking at a planet. Look at that, okay. I don't know, I'm just really amazed by obsidian. I think it's super cool. I kind of am sad I'm destroying it, but it's for you guys. You're welcome, internet. Black tip, 50 BMG. That's an armor piercing round. My backpack's in the way. Okay, out of the gold. Barrett M107, straight at the obsidian. Firing. I blew a piece off my truck. I thought I got hit by a piece of obsidian. Just a piece of my truck, we're good. From what I can see so far, the obsidian ball is gone. Oh, it's on the table. Yeah, it's, it's in a bazillion pieces. Dude, holy cow. 
it just dust. I want to touch it, but I know I'm going to get glass shards in my hands. All right, I'm going to go get gloves. Oh my God, dude, crazy. So it obviously broke it into a ton of tiny pieces. So I actually just watched the GoPro clip and it just turns to dust instantly. You can't tell what happened. And really none of these pieces went that far. Like they're 10 feet away max. A lot of times you shoot some with a 50 cal, it goes like 30, 40 feet. I guess these are just so heavy that they just kind of went poof and all just fell on the ground right around here. But I mean, like that's probably our biggest piece. That's our biggest piece of obsidian we have left. Crazy. And then just tons of these everywhere. So, I have no idea if uh, we fractured the backside. Look at this. It was sitting on top of this and just that much of it fell straight down into this. Wild. I know I said you guys should come check out this giant block of obsidian later at the bunker after we shoot it. Yeah, it won't be there, so so don't do that. Uh, we want to shoot more like weird stones and rocks and glass types like this because this was really fun to kind of see what it does and see how it's different from glass. So, if you have any ideas on what kind of stuff we should shoot, I'm thinking like I'm thinking big. You should think big, like diamond. I want to shoot a 12 inch solid diamond. We need to raise some funds to do that. So uh, there's a merchandise link in the description below. Um, we need probably like a trillion or more dollars. So if you could help us out, that'd be great. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.